this perfect love Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love I believe in the sun Show me Good morning, Orchard Kids, and welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Topher, but you can call me Gopher, Loafer, or Tofu. Call me what you want and I won't lose my composure. No, sir. And I am so glad that you are back joining us today because we are right in the middle of our series on peace. And peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. Say that with me. Peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. That means you can disagree with someone without being mean to them. You don't always have to get your way or win. You know, God made peace with us when he sent Jesus to be our savior. And we can follow Jesus' example by making peace with the people around us. Our Bible verse for this month says it like this, let us make every effort to do what leads to peace and mutual edification. Romans 14, 19. Say that with me. Let us make every effort to do what leads to peace and mutual edification. Romans 14, 19. See, God wants us to live at peace with everyone around us. He wants us to use words that build each other up instead of cut each other down. He wants us to care more about each other than we do about winning or looking like we're right all the time. And in today's Bible story, we're gonna hear about how God wants us to live. So 
without further ado, let's throw it over to our friends at The So-and-So Show. What are you doing? I'm building a bridge. The waters are troubled. And, 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 and Brandon, did you know that your fingernails grow four times as fast as your toenails? Really? Yes. And that you produce enough saliva to fill two bathtubs a year. Cool. We need to get started. There. Yeah, and eyelashes oh. last for about 150 So, hey, everybody. I'm Brandon, and this is Lawson, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yes, where apparently you might get interrupted by your co-host. Lawson, we need to get started with the show. Yes, but you we cut can't... me off at a very crucial part of my fact giving kids out there could be seriously questioning the lifespan of an eyelash. 150 what? Hours? Years? They don't know, Brandon. It's 150 days. By the way, eyelashes last for 150 days. Great. Are you done? Yes. Thank you. <gasps> no. Did you know that your blood has the same percentage of salt as ocean water? Actually, technically, uh, the blood is saltier than seawater if you read Wikipedia. <laughs> Brandon, you ruin everything. Yeah, well, your facts aren't interesting. Yeah, well, neither are your shoes. You don't even know what shoes I'm wearing. I don't need to. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Welcome. Come Thanks, on in. Guys. Mm -hmm. Here, here you are. Chair. I got it. I've got it. No, it's. Have a seat. You sit here. <clears throat> now. Tell us who you are and what you know. Yeah, I was supposed to ask her that. You snooze, you lose. Well, tell us who you are and what you know. I already asked her. Uh, is everything okay here? It's fine. Please continue. Tell us who, who you, you are and what, what you know. know. Okay. Well, my name is Bridget, and I'm a professional mediator. Hmm. Brandon wants to know what a mediator is. It's not true. I know what a mediator is. I'm glad you asked. A mediator is someone who makes peace. Hmm. Someone who stands in the middle of a conflict helping people compromise or agree. <laughs> it's like building a bridge from one person to another. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of like my name, Bridget. If there is a problem, that is what I do. I bridge it. Oh. Are you two okay? Do you need me to mediate? We're fine. How does mediating work exactly? I'll show you. Let's bridge it. You have to clean your room before we watch the movie. But I can't do it in time. Why do we always have this argument? Oh, it's here. Oh, you can God. pretend you're a hero with super speed to clean your room lightning fast. And then you can wait until she's done before you start the movie. Problem solved. I'm sorry, who are you? Bridget. Yeah, hey, kitty, kitty. Come on, get your den, den. Oh, come on, don't make me walk way over there. Oh, 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 oh. Bridget. Give it to me, it's mine. Nuh-uh, I'm the one who found it. Yeah, but I picked it up first. <sighs> yeah. Bridget. Wow, uh, you really do build a lot of bridges. You're welcome. I didn't say that. Well, I've got to go. There's lots of people out there needing my help. And just remember, 
If you two ever aren't getting along, don't let the gap stand in your way. All you have to do is just... Bridget? Bridget? That's my name. Bridget. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey, guys. Today's Bible story is a great one, so let's hop right to it. The verse is Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Paul wrote, Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Back to you guys. Back to us? What do you mean? That was like two sentences. Three sentences, actually. But yes, sometimes one little verse in the Bible can pack a whole lot into it. Um, okay, but... You want to unpack it? That would be great. Here it is again. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. It's like this. Meet Brian and Ava. Where's my notebook? I didn't take it. Well, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> That's not my fault. If I don't find that notebook by tomorrow, I'm going to get a zero on my homework. Aw, bummer for you. I'm going to play with my friends. Goodbye. Freeze. Brian and Ava are brother and sister. But sometimes, and I don't know if this happens to you, but sometimes brothers and sisters fight. They're not at peace. So what would happen if they let the peace that Christ gives rule in their hearts? Rewind! Where's my notebook? Oh, uh, I haven't seen it. Well, I can't find it anywhere. Have you checked the kitchen? Yes, but if I don't find that notebook by tomorrow, I'm going to get a zero on my homework. Well, I was going to play outside with my friends, but I guess I can help you look instead. Thanks, Brian. See the difference? Instead of letting anger and fear be in charge, they let peace take over. Peace ruled their hearts, and that's how it should be. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace. That means making peace is our responsibility. Like this. I want grilled cheese for dinner. I want tacos. Didn't we just have tacos? Yeah, but tacos are my favorite. Grilled cheese is my favorite. So what do we do? Grilled cheese tacos. Grilled cheese taco? Isn't that a quesadilla? Anyway, Ava and Brian, they did something called compromise. They both gave up a little bit of what they wanted to make peace. It's important to remember that even when we disagree, we can still have peace with each other. So let's see that verse one more time. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Back to you guys. Awesome. You were right, Kellen. One Bible verse packs in a whole lot, and all we have to do is remember it now. Hmm. Yep. Next time you're in an argument, don't let your anger take charge. Let the peace that Jesus gives rule your heart. We'll try, Kellen. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. See you guys. Bye. Brandon? Yes, Lawson? I don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, I agree. I'd much rather have peace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Yeah. Come here, you! Oh. <laughs> We're never going to have a conflict ever again okay. because we bridged it. Okay. We bridged it. I'm so, so sorry. Let's this take is it. not going to happen Let's take it anymore. One. All right. Let's take it one episode at a time, if that's all right. Okay. Yeah. Reveal the question! Who do you need to make peace with? Whether it's a sibling, a co-host, a parent, a teacher, a friend, a neighbor, a grandma, second cousin once removed, second cousin twice removed. You get the picture. We all have a lot of different types of people and relationships in our lives. Uh, or a hot dog vendor, or a disc jockey, or a mail carrier, or a used car salesman, <laughs> or a new Talk about it together. Who do you need to make peace with? Or a babysitter, or a Mountie, or that woman whose hands out that samples at the grocery store that you just eat them all the time, and you just can't stop, and you can't okay. stop. I'm until Brandon. Just, and I am lost. And this was the so-and-so so -so show. show. <laughs> do you have any more?
No. <laughs> All right, see if you can guess the answer to this. How many noses does a slug have? Three. No, that's close though, they have four noses. The fingerprints of a koala are so indistinguishable from humans that they have on occasion been confused at crime scenes. A snail can sleep for three years. Oh man, I envy him. The only animal that can't jump is the elephant. 3% of the ice in Antarctica glaciers is penguin urine. Okay, good night, good night everybody. <laughs>God made us to live at peace with each other. But that's not always easy. Sometimes we can get really upset or angry, and sometimes people aren't super nice to us. On our own, it would be super hard to live in peace. But we're not on our own. We can have a relationship with Jesus, and because of that relationship, that's what gives us true peace. It makes us want to make peace with others because we remember the way Jesus made peace with us. With his help, we can build a bridge and make peace with the people around us. We don't have to stay separated from people just because we disagreed with them. Our bottom line this week is we can make peace with others. Would you say that with me? We can make peace with others. Think about it for a minute. Who do you need to make peace with? Maybe it's a brother or sister you've been fighting with. Maybe it's someone on your sports team or a friend in your neighborhood or at school. Talk to God about it. Ask him how you can make peace and then do what you can. Make a move to fix the problem. This week, let's do everything we can to live in peace with the people around us. And because we're gonna need a lot of help with that, let's pray and ask God for his help right now. God, thank you so much that you made peace with us. Thank you that you are still here helping us to make peace with the people around us. I pray this week that we could seek you, that we could trust you, that we could ask you for help when we're feeling angry or upset, when we are in an argument, or when we just really want our own way. God, I pray that we could ask you what it looks like to make peace, and then that we could do it. God, thank you for sending Jesus to make peace with us. Thank you for last week, for Easter. God, we pray all of this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. All right, guys, that is it for this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week. Bye.